Hi, this is Paul on the Plane, and this is Season 2, Episode 10 of Faking Space, our image analysis series of the alleged photos we are provided by NASA and the other government space agencies. The second half of Faking Space Season 2 focuses exclusively on the Apollo lunar missions, Apollo 11 through 17. The Apollo Journal site has been available for 20 years, some parts as early as 1995. In 2015, NASA released more than 8,400 high-res images on Flickr, claiming it was every photo taken by the astronauts during the six moon missions from 1969 to 1972. More than 10,000 hours of research, poring over every photo, every video, every mission log, everything available online relating to NASA's alleged six lunar landings has gone into this video series. The tireless researcher's name is Mr. Scott Henderson, and he's been gracious enough to share his evidence with us that the Apollo moon missions were shot right here on Earth. Here again is a close-up of the wet Apollo 17 flag, drying from the edges in. This isn't the only photo where moisture can be seen or found. Over the next few minutes, several other photos that were taken clearly show evidence of moisture, which was impossible if these photos were taken on the moon, which has no atmosphere in the vacuum of space. Here we go again. The crews must have started working early in the morning and then had to wait for the mist to clear. The astronauts were kind enough to take a couple of photos to record the event. The result of wet lunar dust. In the image on the left, astronaut Cernan has picked up a little dust turned mud some of it has got onto his spacesuit, especially the left arm and the glove of his suit. In the right photo, just two frames later, the wet lunar soil has been washed off on the moon. To confirm this, the suit is still visibly wet on his left arm and glove. NASA claims this photo was taken in space during an undocking procedure. It is clear to see, however, that water is drying from this panel. This window was blown out during a pressure test. It was taped back in and a rain guard, broken in this photo, was installed to try and keep the water out. NASA claims this was taken halfway to the moon Water is running down the window in zero gravity, and water is in between the layers of glass, which means the seal is broken. And water does not freeze on the glass, even though it's minus 250 degrees outside. Note that the water is causing the paint to peel between the layers of glass. All set removal from the lamp. The poor condition of this piece of equipment is unmistakable. It appears to have been exposed to water, resulting in mold growth, and consequently is very badly soiled. Remember, the equipment, we were told, was prepared under ultra-clean conditions before the mission. The deterioration of this item must be intentional to draw attention to the simulation. These two photos are examples of equipment left outside to weather. NASA is using the same props until it is in such bad shape that it has to be replaced. All of the experimental package ages over time from mission to the next. On the left is standing water and mud that is left after water has evaporated. On the right, cracks are visible and the plastic is curling up. In our next episode, Mr. Henderson and I will present photographic evidence that, that the stage crew intentionally left clues for all of us to find later as they became more and more frustrated with their role in the greatest hoax ever pulled on the world. So stay tuned. Oh, and one more thing. 
when filming a fake moon landing, make sure when you are making observations that you appear to be enthusiastic. Just like this cuff checklist says. Until next time, this has been Paul on the Plane. On behalf of Mr. Scott Henderson, thanks for watching.